It's the radio segment that just launched a brand new product to compete with Elf on the Shelf. Oh, ooh. So, get ready to take out your credit cards. You can buy a brand new edition of Ernest in the Furnace. Uh, oh! <laughs> that's dark. It comes with its own <laughs> screaming voice box. Oh, no. Yeah. Laser Stories. The segment where we read weird news stories around the globe, just like everyone else does, except we have a laser, and those other sugar dumb fairies just mm. don't. This first laser story is out of Florida. A few months ago, a woman named Patsy Davidson flipped out on her ex and his new girlfriend. In fact, she was so upset that she drove up to his place and vandalized two cars. Kapoya! Kapoya! It's just, it's not a cute look. I mean, really. It well, just is very desperate. First, she crashed her car into his. Oh, wow. And then Whoa. poured oil all over the air vents Ugh. and wrote stuff like womanizer in pink lipstick on the windows. Okay. Oh, no, she didn't. I kind of like the lipstick. It's like a nice touch. Do you? You yeah. think he learned his lesson? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. You should know she spelled womanizer. Oh, no. W-O-M-I. I N I Z E R. Mm. Womanizer. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, and, it's like a minimizer, but w with, for women. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And there were a lot more misspellings, too. Okay. <laughs> So but, if you're going to, like, vandalize stuff, maybe check your spelling? Or just do yeah. it via text so you have autocorrect. Bring your dictionary <laughs> with you. Bring some encyclopedias or something. But she wasn't done. She went over to the girlfriend's car, poured oil on it, Ugh. and then put a dead raccoon on the hood. Whoa! Dang! That is... That's psycho. Yeah. Is, is oil did she from? bring the dead raccoon from her <laughs> house, or did she just find it there? That oh, raccoon just uh, walked uh, across her <laughs> path at the wrong time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she also wrote the word S L U T E yeah. in big pink lipstick. That's the classic thing. It's That's, like a flute with a yeah, mm -hmm. really yeah, it classy. is. And the yeah. car she vandalized was a BMW, and it was damaged Whoa. so bad that it was a total loss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Now, the craziest part of all of this is that Patsy is 76 years old. Wait, no, stop. Wait and a are minute. you hand? Get up. That <laughs> is no, not what I saw coming. No. That is the most shocking part of it oh, all. Yeah. Like, how long did it take? Like a I day? Know. Her ex-boyfriend is 74. Oh, oh, wait a minute. And his girlfriend is a spring chicken at 64. Oh, oh that's so like, uh, She likes older guys. She calls him granddad. Why yeah. do I approve of this whole story suddenly? Now I, you like, like, I don't know why. Uh, now it's, it's like, kind of cute. You know, uh, grandparents can do no wrong. She's still got passion. That's great. Well, authorities caught up with Patsy, who was shuffling away from the crime scene. Yeah. Oh. So she was arrested and is now facing felony criminal mischief counts. Yes. Yeah, I do feel bad for her now. It's not her fault. There's just not very many men when you reach that age. Yeah. You know, true. they die quicker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brooke. I mean, they do. <laughs> Women outlive them. <laughs> this next laser story is out of Missouri. There's a 48-year-old woman named Laura Oglesby, and her dream was to be young again. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but let's say that you were 48 <laughs> years old. Realistically, okay. yeah. how do you do that? Uh, Plastic surgery? Right, Botox. Mm, times, yeah. No, Laura no. had a better plan. Oh. And it involved stealing her daughter's identity and going to college. Stop. <laughs> Why would you want to relive that? What do you mean, why? Oh. Brooke, why not? Because you're 48 and you're tired. I <laughs> mean... Yeah, the, what, the party starts at yeah, 10? Exactly. Oh, this is awful. Not, Laura was not tired. In fact, she got a social security card in the name of her daughter, oh who was God. 22 at the time. You are so extra and right That's now. psycho. Got a driver's license. Oh. What? You're doing too much. Yeah, she then went it. ahead and enrolled at Southwest Baptist University, moved into a dorm on campus, no, not a dorm. and oh. somehow convinced everyone that she was actually a fun 22-year-old's co-ed. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I know somebody saw through her roller backpack, because I can guarantee <laughs> you she was bringing that to class. Apparently, Laura ended up having a great time, too. What? She got herself a job at the library and was dating multiple dudes at once. And they, you know she was wait, buying everyone liquor. They yeah. believed that she was 22? Absolutely. What? Whoa. She went to parties, They had. she had roommates, and even pretended to take her laundry home to her mom on the weekends to get it cleaned. <gasps> Extra. I mean, but it's living the life. Mm -hmm. you know? right. cool. After two years of keeping up the ruse, Laura's college days unfortunately came to an end. Aww. She was caught and recently pled guilty to a judge, so she's facing up to five years in prison. Wow. Wow. But when she gets there, she's like, oh. this is my first time in jail. Yeah. 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 Plus, she had to pay back the college over $17,000 in restitution. Oh. And afterwards, yeah. the police chief said they'd never seen anything like this. Everybody believed her, and she even had boyfriends thinking she was just really experienced for being 22. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Are you sure this is your first time doing this? Jesus. You must take anatomy or something. Yeah, you must take anatomy. All right, this next laser. How'd you get a C-section scar? (laughs) (laughs) This next laser story is out of Germany. All the work from home stuff means new laws and considerations are now being addressed. Oh. And a court may have just redefined what it means to commute. Okay. And I say that because a guy named Studegard recently rolled out of bed and walked downstairs to start working at his desk, but oh. he tripped on the stairs and broke his back. <gasps> Ain't nobody Whoa. got time for that. Oh my gosh. Ouch. And so we filed an insurance claim through work saying through that work. he was technically commuting. From his bed to his oh, living to room? His, and unbelievably, the, the court agreed with him. No. I mean, technically, he has to move to the computer to do work, so you're commuting from your bed to the laptop. No. Nah. That's hilarious. The thing is, there's laws in the U.S. that already allow for workers' comp if you're injured while working from home. Right, but okay. here's the weird part. The court in Germany ruled it only applied because he was on his way to his desk for the first time ah. that day. So... So if he would have fallen during a bathroom break, no go. Right. If he had stopped at his desk and then went to the kitchen to grab breakfast and then fell while doing that, he would get nothing. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's actually amazing. Yeah. It makes sense. I mean, he broke his back, but still awesome. Good for you. Yeah, I shouldn't have said amazing. This (laughs) next laser story is out of Holiday Headquarters. Yay! Baby boomers just love to take jabs at millennials. Mm. Yeah, they do. But maybe, just maybe, those youngsters are finally starting to grow up. And I say that because in a new survey, 67% of millennials, which are people between the ages of 25 and 40 right now, Mm. say that they enjoy the holiday memories they make as adults more than the ones that they have from their childhood. Ooh, take that, boomers. I wonder why. In fact, yeah. most of the millennials say that they're more motivated to do cooking and cleaning around the holidays, and even 70% claim to enjoy doing it. <laughs> Yay! I'm, I'm, cooking yeah. and cleaning! Yeah. Yeah. I, I must be Gen Z still mentally. No, yeah. <laughs> no, I think like you're, you know, when you're that age, you're when you're in your 30s, you have kids, you get to relive all this stuff together. I like, literally... it is really fun. Like, I am loving the holidays you right now. You see the clock running out on your life, and you're like, oh, God, <laughs> I better start enjoying something. <laughs> the holiday-related things that millennials like doing the most as adults include wrapping holiday gifts, oh. decorating their home, uh-huh. and yeah. cleaning up after holiday meals. What? Not really. I, if that person can move into my house, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. I would love to have someone that loves uh-huh. cleaning up after me. I'm still a child. I go visit my parents every Christmas, and yeah. I literally just revert. I'm just like, change me. Yeah. Change me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey, take your pacifier. <laughs> just in general, they're loving adult stuff like staying in on a Friday night. Mm. That is dope now. I will say that. Dude, makes me feel. I mean, but this is just a survey of how old millennials are getting. Yeah. Don't That's you all think? It is. Oh, yeah. They but also like repairing things around the house yeah. okay. oh, no. easy things though yeah. like light bulbs so yeah. like, that's why? not a repair for pair. a millennial that's a, that's an overhaul that's it a complete counts. remodel <laughs> and cleaning up after a holiday meal that can mean different things to different people yeah, yeah. so i wonder what millennial is oh. volunteering to clean up this mess oh. after the holidays <laughs> no I don't know. Someone's got to be excited about yeah. it. That's how it means Laser Stories has come to an end for the day. We'll do it again, same time, on Wednesday. Grab a 30-day free trial of Live by Live Plus, and you'll get unlimited skips, commercial-free music, and all of the podcasts and live streaming events you can handle. Visit livexlive.com slash podcast1 to learn more and start your free trial.